The Funbotics mission is to ignite a passion for STEM in our youth, providing fun, hands-on STEM experiences free for the under-resourced and underrepresented. Funbotics launched its 3D modeling and printing camp in July 2021, taking a large step towards this goal. After running camps in libraries and community centers for several years, Funbotics came to Yale as an undergraduate organization in 2018. So they want to give opportunities to students that don't have opportunities, opportunities to design, opportunities to create, opportunities to work in teams. And I said, that sounds like a great idea. The School of Engineering is 100% behind you. And that is how I learned of Funbotics. And that's how the School of Engineering became one of the first sponsors of the great program known as Funbotics. In 2021, we began our national expansion, recruiting students and volunteers across the U.S partnered with Sci City at Yale, Yale School of Engineering and Applied Science, Yale Pathways to Science, and Dwight Hall, Funbotics has grown into a 501c3 nonprofit with chapters in Northern Virginia, New Haven, Connecticut, mentoring over 500 students since inception. Funbotics is rapidly developing curricula, raising funds, and building social presence. To promote and improve access to STEM in under-resourced and underrepresented students, Funbotics develop 3D modeling and printing camps. In the camps, students assemble 3D printers, learn computer-aided design on Onshape, and 3D print various custom objects. As part of the camp, students receive an Ender 3 Pro 3D printer to build and keep. Throughout three three-hour long sessions, students work closely and build long-lasting relationships with Yale University mentors and volunteers while receiving the equipment and a strong foundation for future engineering exploration. Our goal was to ensure an exciting, hands-on learning experience that provided enough guidance to keep everyone on track while still giving students the space to learn at their own pace. We tried to spread the camp to as many students as possible, especially those that are underrepresented and under-resourced in STEM. We partnered with Yale Pathways to Science to offer free seats in the camp to their students. The thing I think is really important is, is exposure in middle and high school. Exposure to all different STEM fields. I don't think students are, are building as much anymore, right? They're not doing that just like, you know, just getting the materials and building. And so when we can offer opportunities to actually organize something that says, let's do it, let's get our hands dirty. Um, I, I think that's really, that's really important. In addition, we partnered with CONCAT to offer their students free access to our program and to provide printers for their spaces. Yeah, CONCAT is a nonprofit um, organization that's uh, mission is to help uh, students and adults um, in the inner city as they, to, to opportunities. Uh, youth have the ability, it's just a matter of, it's just the accessibility that is the difference. The fundraising team worked hard to raise money for all of Funbotics operations. Reaching out to corporate sponsors and discussing initiatives such as our 3D printing camp, we were able to raise over $40,000 to date from companies including Aver Technologies, Tech2i, SunPile Foundation, Global Geotechnical Consultants, and IW Construction. This camp would not have been possible without our partnership with Creality, who generously donated and delivered over 30 3D printers and filaments to our students. These donations have been instrumental in our effort to promote STEM and 3D printing to students in a fun and exciting way, so we are extremely grateful to Creality for helping us turn our vision for the camp into a reality. This is the general overview of the camp. That rod, let me share my screen. Slide it all the way to the bottom. 0 0.4 centimeters. Do you think you could check uh, Slack again? I can drag it along the X. Over the course of our 3D printing camp, students had the opportunity to experience working through the entire 3D printing process, from assembling their own 3D printers to catting their own models. We can make this pyramid. We could also make a Lego brick. Do you see the spring at the back of the, the motor? This hands-on approach allowed students to learn about the inner workings of their machines and encouraged them to use their problem-solving and analytical skills. That fan spins whenever it needs to spin. So I have it working, it just takes a little while. For many of the students, the camp was their first time using a screwdriver. With a fully functional 3D printer as a final result, 
students walked away with a massive boost of confidence to pursue STEM in the future. We're fostering that creativity, and along the way, we're fostering their confidence. I added this neck, then the body, then the arm, the leg, and then the feet. Even though students face challenges along the way, they learn that failure is a part of the engineering design process and that dedication and grit pays off. After I'm finished with this, I have some things in mind that I can um, try and print. Yeah, we're thinking about making like stop motion figures. Basically, I'm trying to build a gaming PC. Wow. Like 3D print, 3D print the component. The 3D printing camp lasted three days but the impact on our kids will last a lifetime. Starting in New Haven, it is working with the local school system. It is having an impact on those students and the word is spreading. The word is spreading from those students to their peers and through Funbotics itself, they're using the model in New Haven really to impact this nation. So we're at the, we're at the, the cusp of perhaps a new national movement promoted by Funbotics to give chance to do important work for students that otherwise don't have that option. They kept asking, is there is there another one after it was over? And I'm like, you know, I said, no, not yet, but we're working on it. We're going to work on it. And they're working, they're thinking, they're moving. Um, they're, they're, they're not getting bored. Uh, they're, they're just involved and engaged. I'm already in an engineering high school and having this new experience makes it very easy for me to learn new things in my current field. My favorite part of the program is it's building the 3D printing machines. I was really excited to attend. My favorite part was building my 3D printer with my friend. I got to 3D print a dog. The contact 3D printing class had made me want to be an engineer. Bonbonics will continue to develop and launch more programs, actively carrying out our mission of igniting a passion for STEM in youth, providing fun, hands-on STEM experiences. I'd like to thank Concat Funbotics and Creality for giving us our 3D printers. Thank you, Funbotics. Thank you, Funbotics. Bye. Moving forward, Funbotics will continue to hold more 3D modeling and printing camps, bringing 3D printing to households of more students across the nation.